It is late September and look what's blooming. Sedum is a perfect accent plant for your garden. I love it for multiple reasons and I'm going to go over them in just a second. The first reason why I always like to put sedum in my garden is it's so easy to maintain. It only needs a little bit of sun and a little bit of water. It grows green all summer long and then in September it starts to bloom. Mine started blooming at the end of August. This is now mid-September and this particular one I'm showing you is actually purple. They do come in different colors. Later on in the video, I will show you a, another sedum that my neighbor has that is a different color. Another reason to have this in your garden is it is so easy to propagate. I actually learned this by accident. I had broken off a stem one time and I dug a hole and I put the stem in there and then I made sure to water it. And I was surprised, not only did it survive, but it multiplied, it grew to be a nice size sedum. Of course, you can always dig up the plant and get the stems with the roots and plant them that way. Sedum is also another plant that you can put in your containers. And I put my containers in the garage for the winter and this plant actually survives. I'm going to pull a stem back so you can see how thick the stems are and the leaves. They're almost like little cushions. It is filled with water. If you try my method of breaking off a branch and digging a hole somewhere in your garden and planting it, you still have to water it at least twice a day until those roots get established. It's just like any other um, plant when you transfer it it has a little bit of shock value when you do that and so you have to baby it for a little bit but I have done this in the past and it works I would do all of your propagation of this plant early in the season depending on where you live either spring or summer and that way it'll have enough time to establish itself so back to that thick stem that's another reason why I like this is it holds a lot of water and and even the leaves are like thicker you can almost feel the water in them which makes it very drought tolerant so this past summer here in Michigan and I'm in like the south eastern part of Michigan it was so hot we had one of the hottest summers it was in the high 80s almost 90s every day it was hot at night and this didn't even look like anything was happening to it it wasn't wilting it didn't need any more water than i normally give my plants and so that's another reason to to have uh, this particular type of plant in your garden as promised here is the other color of sedum is a pretty pink it has from like the dark to the light pink and i believe it might even turn more of an auburn color as the season goes on here and the pollinators love this butterflies bees oh there's a bee right now Let's see if I can get a video of him for you without disturbing him too much oh he flew away uh, so the other thing that's really cool about this plant is it completely dies down to the ground once the first frost gets it and what's nice about that so my neighbor has it between her driveway and sidewalk here and in winter we get a lot of snow so you, you can't have plants here that when you're piling the snow up on this area that it would wreck the plant but these completely die to the ground and then so this whole area you can pile a lot of snow on it and it doesn't hurt anything she doesn't have to do anything. They start growing back every spring. 
she waters them occasionally but for the most part she doesn't even water these at all only the rainwater keeps these alive so technically she would only water these if she saw them wilting like if there was a true true drought and we weren't getting any rain at all which um we get just enough rain you know even in a hot summer that these don't require any additional watering so there is lots and lots of reasons to add sedum to your flower beds they are low maintenance don't require a lot of water easy to propagate multiple colors they're good for the pollinators and i think there was a few other reasons you know in there As we go on here, I am trying to build my channel, so please subscribe. Like this video if you like my content. Please comment down below. I love reading your comments. Here in my front flower bed, I put one single sedum. It's the purple one with a little bit of babies coming off of it right there. It's in a very shady part of my garden, but I'm expecting it to get bigger every year. Thank you for watching. 